The amount of people who wanted me to make a video about anterior pelvic tilt was pretty shocking to me. I didn't know it was a very common problem, but I guess you guys don't want to look like Raheem Sterling. And just like a lot of the subjects that I talk about, there aren't very good videos on YouTube about how to fix it. This is because a lot of bodybuilders probably don't even know what a pelvis is, and a lot of physical therapists like to complicate the problem. Luckily for you guys, I'm here to make fitness great again, because I have the perfect combination of knowledge as well as weightlifting experience. My name is Martin Rios, I'm a student physical therapist, I have a bachelor's of science in exercise science, and in one year I'll be a doctor of physical therapy. In this video, I'm giving you guys a no BS step-by-step -step guide to fixing anterior pelvic tilt. So I mentioned upper cross syndrome in my posture video and anterior pelvic tilt is actually referred to as lower cross syndrome. Anterior pelvic tilt can actually decrease your height because you have an excessive amount of lumbar lordosis, which essentially means that you have an excessive curvature in your lumbar spine, so you're not standing up as straight as you can. Anterior pelvic tilt is so common because a lot of people who work are always sitting on their butts for about eight hours a day. Lower cross syndrome or anterior pelvic tilt is caused by strong and weak muscles that create an X on your pelvis. With your weak muscles being your abs and your hip extensors or your glutes and your hamstrings, and your tight muscles being your hip flexors and your back extensors. So in order to fix this issue, we have to attack all four of those areas. I'm going to start off by giving you guys the exercise for strengthening your hip extensors and the best one in my opinion is a barbell hip thrust. Not only will this help with the weakness of your hip extensors, but a lot of athletes use this exercise because it's great for your athleticism. Even Leon Edwards uses this exercise, so that means you should too. When performing this exercise, I want you guys to get pretty strong, not just to fix your anterior pelvic tilt, but actually to help your performance and to help your bodybuilding goals. So make sure you're keeping track of the weight that you use and progressively overload this movement. When performing this exercise, make sure that you're squeezing your glutes. A lot of lifters neglect their glutes because a lot of people think that the glutes are only for girls to hit, but it's a very important exercise for not only aesthetic purposes, but also for bodybuilding purposes. I want you guys to perform this exercise for roughly 6 to 12 reps. I usually mention to go 8 to 12, but I also want you guys to get strong in this movement, so that's why I'm kind of going a little bit lower on the weight. You guys should be performing this exercise at least two times per week, and I want you guys to do three to five sets per session. And I also want you guys to get pretty strong in this movement, so I'm actually going to go a little bit higher on the rest times. I want you guys to be doing two to three minutes rest. Now to target the abs, we're going to be doing a leg raise. So just like Max Yusita and Alex Eubank, we're going to be sitting on our butts because they love to sit on their butts. So we're going to go here and it's important how you guys do this exercise. A lot of people think it's just raising your leg and lowering your leg. The most important thing is stabilizing your pelvis. So when you're lowering your legs, what your pelvis wants to do is go straight into an anterior pelvic tilt and come up like that. You see, there's my lower back is not resting on the floor. What you guys are gonna do is really focus on engaging that core and keeping that low back on the floor. Let's go here. Like I said, guys, do it slow, quality over quantity. Really, really focus. I like to even put my hands on my pelvis to make sure. Keeping that pelvis on the floor. You're gonna feel a lot of tension here. And then you come up. I really like this movement because it's pretty task specific because you're actively trying to stop your pelvis from anteriorly rotating. In this exercise, I really stress quality over quantity. Make sure you're keeping your lower back on the floor. Because the abs are actually made of primarily type one fibers, which are endurance fibers, we're gonna go a little bit higher up on the reps. So I want you guys to do 10 to 15 reps. I want you guys to do this exercise two to three times per week with roughly one minute to one minute, 30 seconds rest. Now onto the stretches. So first we're gonna start off with our hip flexor stretch. And like I always say guys, with stretching, we're doing the opposite of what the muscle does. So we're gonna get into a lot of hip extension here. I like to use one of the foam pads because you actually put a lot of pressure on your knee, it's not super comfortable. So if you have one of these, I recommend you use it. So all you're gonna do is get into this position here, and like I said, hip extension. So what you're gonna do is kind of drive into that knee and tilt up, and then whenever, if you want a more intense stretch, you lean forward. And then you're gonna feel it right in the front of your quad here. And then our next one is gonna be our back extensor stretch. So this is called a child's pose. You're just gonna come here, have your arm out like this, and then lean as far back as you can into your heels. And you'll feel a good stretch right here in like your lower back. And if you guys are regulars to my channel, you guys already know the dosage of stretching, which is gonna be 30 to 60 seconds rest, 
for three rounds and I want you guys to do it six to seven times per week. And like I always say guys, consistency is key. If you guys are doing the correct dosage, you'll see major improvements in your anterior pelvic tilt. And that's how you fix anterior pelvic tilt or lower cross syndrome. If you guys want direct access to me and my brother Mario, as well as our training programs, there's gonna be a link in the description where you can check that out. Since I'm here to make fitness great again, be sure to leave a comment about what videos you guys wanna see next, cause I'm here to help you guys out. Make sure you guys check out my posture video or upper cross syndrome, so you guys are standing up as tall as you possibly can. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video.